Hello everyone. So we are going to discuss chapter number four of Nitin Singhania in this particular video. Now we have covered previous parts. In this particular part, we will cover the topic of casualization and informalization of our workforce. Now let's try to understand. See, there are four terms: organized sector, unorganized sector, formal sector, informal sector. Let's try to understand it. in a simpler way organized sector basically means working in those organizations which have 10 plus members so these are those organizations which have 10 plus employees 10 plus basically means more than 10 employees are there the people working in these organizations are basically referred as part of organized sector then there is unorganized sector unorganized sector basically means on paper the number of employees are less than 10 so two terms are there organized sector unorganized sector organized basically means the number of employees in that particular organization are more than 10 in unorganized sector the number of employees are less than 10 that's first thing now formal versus informal see formal sector employees basically have regular salary they have monthly salary and they have social security benefit what are social security benefit for example they will receive paid leave paid leave means what that means on sunday or on any particular holiday they won't go to work still their salary will not be deducted that's paid leave second they will receive uh, various benefits such as health insurance or any other type of benefit so these are the social social security benefit another example would be let's say pension so formal sector workers will have regular salary and they will have social security benefit on the other hand informal sector workers are actually casual workers casual worker means if i will go to work today i will get a salary that means my salary is not on the basis of month it is daily that means it is based on the work i will finish today's work then only i will receive salary there is no fixed payment no monthly fixed payment that is casual workforce and second is lack of social security benefit in a very simple sense if i won't go to work tomorrow because of my illness then obviously my payment will be deducted for this particular thing so four things are there organized sector means 10 plus employees are there unorganized sector means less than 10 employees are there formal sector basically means they have a regular salary plus social security benefits informal sector basically means they do not have regular salary that's why they are called as casual workers plus they don't have social security benefits so these are the four basic terms now let's try to understand the meaning of casualization of workforce and informalization of workforce as the name suggests informalization basically means growth of informal sector in case of our economy roughly 90% workers are working in informal sector and only 10% work in formal sector in a very simple sense majority of population are working as a casual worker casual worker means what they don't have a fixed monthly salary they don't have social security benefits that's why you might have noticed that there is a specific obsession for the government job uh, yes there is a social prestige power all that thing is there but apart from that there is a concept of job security these 90% people do not have any kind of job security any kind of monthly payment is not there they do not know till what time they are going to work that's why they lack job security so that is about informalization of our economy is it good thing no it is not good thing because the person do not have any kind of job security or income security that's first problem second problem the person do not have any kind of social security also and therefore after retirement they are going to face problem and that's where the problem comes because after retirement who will have to spend money for their welfare it is the government who will have to spend money for their welfare so that will be additional financial burden on the government so that is about informalization of economy casualization of economy basically means the number of casual workers are increasing okay now 
वन स्पेसिफिक रीजन फॉर कैजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी इज राइज ऑफ गिग इकोनॉमी नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज गिग इकोनॉमी सी गिग वर्कर्स आर दोज वर्कर्स विच आर हायर्ड फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर टास्क एंड दे डो नॉट हैव ए फुल टाइम जॉब दैट मीन्स दे डोंट they do not have 9 to 5 job they do not have traditional employee employer relationship gig workers are those kind of workers who do not have 9 to 5 job and who do not have traditional employee employer relationship what is the meaning of this term traditional employee employer relationship it simply means nobody is going to ask you why you did not come today you can take leave whenever you want to basically there will be deduction of payment for that okay now gig workers may be platform workers and may be non platform workers platform workers basically means they receive this gig through some platform that platform could be some app software or website or website for example the delivery boys of zomato or the uber ola or rapido drivers they receive their gigs through the application of these platforms so they are platform based gig workers now what is the problem with this understand they are not full time employees for example the delivery boys of zomato may be the delivery boys of swiggy also so none of them that is neither zomato nor swiggy will consider them as their full time employees that's why they will not receive any social security benefit and recently to provide social security benefits and additional benefit to them karnataka government also introduced a bill for the welfare of platform based gig workers so that is about platform based apart from that there are non platform based gig workers non platform basically means they do not receive their gig through some platform that is through some app website or software for example conventional workers conventional workers means domestic help so our domestic help is not a full time member of a particular house she will work in house number 1 then maybe in house 2 maybe in house 3 so she is a gig worker but she is not a full time member a full time worker of any particular house that is one example another example is construction worker so they are also gig workers but non platform based gig workers so in this particular video we have covered few terms organized sector means just remember the term organized means working in any organization which have more than 10 employees unorganized sector means working in any organization which have less than 10 workers formal sector basically means there is a regular salary plus social security benefits informal sector basically means you are casual worker you do not have any social security benefit casual worker basically means there is no fixed monthly salary or income okay what is casualization of workforce rising number of casual workers what is informalization of economy rising number of informal jobs that is informalization okay what is gig economy gig economy basically means more and more gig based employment what is gig gig basically means you are hired for a specific task after that task you are no longer required so traditional employee employer relationship is not there for example if i am a delivery boy of zomato i will be paid not on the basis of entire day but on the basis of that particular gig that means the delivery that particular delivery okay now gig workers may be of two type platform based those who receive work through some platform it may be an app software website or non platform based gig workers that is conventional workers such as construction workers and domestic help that's all for this particular topic thank you